guys, everything new under the sun. Now, this is the making of candy apples. This is not a how-to or anything. I just had these clips uh, left over, and I thought I'd uh, get them out there for you, just for interest's sake. So we bought a candy apple kit from kit from the grocery store, just for sort of a Christmas thing, to something new on a cold day. And um, you can see all the instructions there. Pretty basic. Basically comes with a, a couple of packs of um, the sugar mixture with the you know the food coloring whatever. And um, this is supposed to be good for ten apples. And um, I am here to tell you that it uh, worked out very well. It is fairly uh, easy to use. Um, you do need um, a candy a candy thermometer um, to to figure out when it's uh, ready to go basically. Uh, but the uh, I should mention that the syrup is very 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 hot. I'm just just saying I burned one of my fingers uh, doing it. So what's in there? Corn syrup solids, artificial flavor, Allura Red. So if you're allergic to uh, food coloring or you know non-natural ingredients, there you go. So there's my my uh, candy thermometer, and you just put I think like a, uh, one or two cups of water into it. That's all you need. Uh, you just add it to it. It's basically a, a big sugar mix. And here I got my apples. Um, I got them all cleaned up, ready to go. Kids are excited about this. I only had about six apples left. So it took a it took a while to get up to temperature. Um, it bubbled along. You don't really have to stir it per se. The kind of bubbling uh, stirs itself, and it comes with the popsicle sticks, of course, all uh, nicely wrapped up in cellophane. So here it is, getting a little hotter. You can see it's starting to get in the green on the left hand side there. And so I got it up to just about about 145. Um, you're supposed to get it, I think 150 is the ideal temperature or something. I, I uh, basically started, I took it off the heat at about 145, I think, and that seemed to work uh, work out quite well for what we were doing. Getting close there, still bubbling. A very, real and simple recipe, although I wouldn't recommend it for kids helping to make it because it's so hot. Like I say, I, I burnt my fingers doing it. Um, with the leftover stuff, because we didn't have 10 apples, I put a bunch of it on. Um, wax paper. That didn't work too well, kind of stuck to the wax paper. But here it is. I didn't get uh, the video of rolling it, but you just stick the popsicle sticks in the apples and then roll them in the uh, pot kind of on its side and cover them all and put it on a grease sheet and they come off real nicely off the grease sheet. You just kind of torque the grease sheet and uh, they just look like candy apples you'd buy from the carnival. They turned out really well. I really liked them. The kids um, found they were too sugary actually, but anyways, it, it worked out well. So, um, yeah, that's our candy apples. Uh, um, they worked out very well, just like any candy apple you'd buy at the store. And uh, so, if you're not allergic to the colors and flavors and all that kind of stuff, I I, I recommend trying it. It's just for fun. It makes really nice candy apples. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video.